Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about spherical mirrors. Other than our plane mirrors that we have previously discussed, there are curved mirrors. The two main types of these curved mirrors that we're going to briefly discuss and then go into more depth are parabolic and spherical mirrors respectively. Parabolic mirrors focus the light into a single point. This is very useful for satellite dishes, as it allows it to focus the incoming electromagnetic waves into a single point. Spherical mirrors come from slicing a section of a spherical mirror, i.e. a sphere made up of pure mirror. These can be used in everyday life, however are the easiest way to get an understanding of curved mirrors. So now let's look at a spherical mirror. First of all, let's draw a circle, as this is a two-dimensional representation of the sphere. Now we're only looking at a single component on the sphere, so I'm just going to remove the components that we're not going to be looking at. The first thing I'm going to note is the centre of the circle. This is called the centre of curvature. Next, I'm going to draw the principal axis. This is a line that passes through the centre of the mirror, through the centre of curvature, and extends to infinity on either side. The focus point is where the light will converge or diverge from, depending on which side the light strikes from. This point is halfway between the centre of curvature and the mirror. If light is travelling along the principal axis, that is, it is travelling directly towards the centre of curvature, then it will be reflected back along its path. As this is the normal to the spherical surface, depending on which way the light comes from, we can either have a concave or a convex mirror. A concave mirror means the light is shunned from the inside of the mirror. So it would be coming from the inside, in here, shining towards the mirror. This would give us a concave mirror. A convex mirror has light coming from the outside of the sphere. So we have our source out here where it shines onto the outside of the sphere. So in summary, we briefly talked about parabolic mirrors and started our look into spherical mirrors. We've discussed what a concave and a convex mirror is, and we've also set up the basics of a ray diagram. In the next video, we're going to be going through the mirror equation and the derivation of that. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.